So, you want to learn how to hunt? That what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th Mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. God damn it, it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, oh, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. All right. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Yeah, look, Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that.
How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, D, we're getting low on supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, you remember what you're doing? <sighs> yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Cope? Oh, shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Dean. See you, booze man. Ah, fresh meat. That ought to do it. Okay, I just gotta get this back to the water. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. How do you like that? My grandfather told me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. I built my first tree house to use as a deer blind. Getting high on the target helps your aim. It keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. But Grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. A snare by a tree, and you have dinner next time you come around. Careful. A headless snake can still bite, especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> Grandfather will outlive us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free Oregon. Don't be lies. Oh, that's great, Cole. So you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. Yeah, that's real sporting. Another bounty. Grrrr! <laughs> 
chance, okay? Let me get back to work. Brian, this is gonna be it. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample trips, I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor, I keep telling you that. Sorry, we can't be How long are we going to be here? Poor son of a bitch, at least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-uh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, refugee Nero camp. Protocol 2 the 7 were states. I, Everyone was dead. They were slaughtered, torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay, okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. 
Yes. I remember a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole O'Brien. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I'll tell you about it later. <sighs> when are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, Boozer. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? You're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on! O'Brien! Get back to me. South. He, he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened. I mean, I, she's still alive. Wait. No. No, look, I'm not stupid. Loser. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Where she died. I don't need to find any peace. I, I gotta go, alright? Deacon out.
Hey, been staying a step ahead of him? Hey, yeah, barely. I gotta get some sleep. Hey, booze man, I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. <sighs> I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> Thank you.